so I'm at the end of the uh, second row of pearl I've got my 11 rows done so now I'm ready to start tapering off the top of the the mitten so we're going to knit four and then knit two together all the way around tight but knit two together I'm going to knit four and knit two together Two together. Knit one, two, three, four, knit two together. Knit one, two, three, four, knit two together. Two together. One, two, three, four, and knit two together. Then you're going to knit two rows all the way around and then you're going to continue with this three knit two together knit three knit two together knit three knit two together then knit a whole row then you're going to knit two knit two together knit two knit two together all the way around then you're going to knit another row and then on the last row you're going to knit two together all the way around then you're going to pull the um, darn the needle through the ends and pull it all the way through and pull it tight turn your mitten inside out and then you're going to sew off the top. So now I'm going to knit the two, two more rows before I taper off the other three, two, one. If you have any issues with this, you can just drop me a line at Nana nana knits and crafts at gmail.com and I do have patterns for sale for um, 
my mittens and my slippers and my socks. Um, they are five dollars each, um, and I take email transfers. Now I'm going to knit three. One, two, three. Knit two together. and knit two together. Now we're just going to do a straight row of knitting all the way around and as you can see we're building the top of the mitten. What I'm hoping here is to get people back into knitting. Um, it's been a lost sport by our generation um, and generations after us. Um, now the generations before us, they did a lot of knitting. And um, I don't know how many people have come up to me and said, oh my God, you're a blessing. Um, I used to have my grandmother used to knit me these kind of mittens or my, my grandmother or my aunt used to knit me those kind of socks I just love them and my socks have gone all over the world as well as some of my mittens um, I have mittens in Ireland and socks in Ireland I have mittens out west I have uh, socks in Scotland um, I sold a pair of socks to um, I think his name is JD or J Jamie or something the NDP leader in in Ontario he bought a pair of my wool socks um, so they, they've been around and I love meeting people from all over the world so now we're gonna knit two and knit two together Two, 
and two together. One, two, and two together. One, two, and two together. One, two, and two together. One, two, and two together. And then after we get this, the end of the saw, this, the end of the mitten done, we're going to take off the pin and um, put those stitches that are on the holder onto a needle. And we're going to pick up four stitches on each side on three needles, and we're going to um, create the thumb. And at the end of the thumb, when you get it to the desired length, all you do is knit two together all the way around. Um, Pull, uh, cut your yarn, uh, darn it through the through the loops, through the stitches, and then pull it tight. Turn your mitten inside out and just darn it on the inside. And that's as easy as that to get done. So this is my last single roll of stitching for this mitten. And making the cuff is just casting on um, for the larger mittens either 14 or 16 stitches and you pick up two um, after the end of the cuff before you go into the, the knit and purl rows. Um, you can make it the desired length that you want it to be. It could be um, two inches, one and a half to three inches depending on if you're making them for children or adults. Um, that makes a big difference. So now I'm going to knit the two together all the way around and then we're, we're done the top of this mitten. Usually if I come down and I have one left here, I'll take a first stitch off of this one or I'll slide it over and I'll still knit the two together. So then I take this um, yarn and I cut it about probably eight or nine inches and I cut my yarn. Then I take a darning needle 
and I stick the darning needle in through the yarn and then I go back to where I where I left off where my last stitch was and then I pick up I loop the, the stitches over from the needle onto my to my sewing thread my sewing yarn same with this needle same with that needle and as you can see we get a hole there so in order to darn that hole what we what I do is I pull it tight I take my darning needle and I stick it through the top of the mitten like so then I turn my mitten inside out be careful not to poke yourself if you got a pokier needle which this one is So turn the mitten inside out and that's what it looks like on the inside and you're going to take your needle and pull it through and you're going to pull that that yarn tight and what you're going to do is you're going to darn it so you're going to sew it I usually give it three or four stitches across the top Where you can get the needle in. And there you have it. And that's how you make Newfie mittens. And then I turn it back inside right. Here's the end of your mitten. Perfect. So then we're going to go down here and we're going to take that pin and we're going to put it into the position where we're going to slide the, the stitches off. Don't throw your needles on the floor, you can't pick them up. And then you're going to slide your stitches from your, your um, stitch holder over onto a needle. like that and then you have eight stitches on that needle and what I tend to do is I knit this first row And I carry my yarn so that I don't have to um, darn it in. So by carrying my yarn, I mean I carry the, the end piece and I, I sort of knit it in. And that way there you don't have to sew it in later. And it sort of double knits it there. And then I would um, pick up the four stitches that are going to be needed 
and I just I just knit them in. So there's one. I sort of go over a little bit. Two. Up here a little bit. Three. And four. And that's for your thumb gusset. I do the same thing down here. I pick up four stitches going downhill. So there's one. Two. Three. And four. And now I would continue knitting these three three um, needles um, to the desired length of your thumb. And that's it, guys. That's how you make a Newfie mitten. Any questions, just send me an email. Thank you.